Hello, this is Janet16, and please excuse the mess, but I've spent the last two days working really hard on my layout, Marble Bridge, which will be going to its first exhibition next year, next April, I believe. And so I thought, well, I ain't got Formula One this weekend, don't have to worry about doing anything with that. So I'm going to spend a couple of days down the shed, and I'm on second day. I want to spend the day down here tomorrow and the day after because I just have nothing planned this weekend. I've got a free weekend of work on layout. So it's quite messy at the moment, as you can see. Yeah, the core stage is over there. That should be down here. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I did show you a signal box update. The signal box has now been put down here where I said it would go. And it looks really nice with the dirt road, one of the areas I'll probably be working on in the next couple of days. And yeah, I'm really pleased with Signal Box. Again, thank you, Dan, if you're watching this video. It just suits the layout so well. So I want to get the ballast sorted down here, but I need to buy some new ballast first. And the station, the actual platform, will get done as well. So if we move down here, you'll start seeing it, it gets a bit messier. And this is what I've spent the last two days working on. This is my first go at building trees as you can see now you're probably thinking well, they look like sticks with bushes on well you're right um i wanted i didn't want really bushy trees because i've always liked trees that have hardly anything on overgrown trees like this with just a few shrubs growing on them dead trees if you know what i mean like really old trees so that's what I've gone for with this, and it looks really good. Now, I will take some pictures later on to show friends on Facebook and everything. But for now, I'm really impressed with them. They stand at a certain height. There will still be details added to them. Um, I'm even thinking of making an old gauge bird house for the tree. Just a little bit of detail, something to see at the exhibition. Go, oh, that's, that's good that they've done that. Because that's the kind of thing you do see on these layouts uh, at exhibitions. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. The trees have turned out really nicely. One of the areas I was really pleased with, though, was the bushes overgrown on the wall. Now, as you can see, it there's quite a lot of them. But again, this is meant to be a railway that's been shut, shut down and taken over by volunteers. So it's, it's completely different to what it would have looked like when it was maintained and there's got to be a lot of areas on the actual layout like this really overgrown but i'm really pleased with how this turned out the wall i'm still not happy with the color there'll be little bits of touched up on it but it's getting now um notice we have this one stuck up here the bush it's meant to be a tree branch a small little tree and there's also piece down here stuck up with a few shrubs around it and that and then there's a bit stuck out here that's actually got a branch on i will take detailed pictures of this as soon as the glue's dried and we got small logs down here and down there and one down here and yeah it actually looks really good i'm really pleased where i was turned out one of the things i need to do next is actually paint the bridge which i'm hoping to do on the weekend I just need some paint thinner for the brushes, really, when I paint it. And i got the colour and everything. And again, it's all got to be weathered up the bridge, the actual stonework and that. So, yeah, this has gone really well. we got a small dirt path, again, overgrown down across here. Now, you'll see where it's darker, the grass is darker. That's because I used uh, water and PVA and a bit of a liquid on. And I'm not actually happy how it's gone too dark. So I'm going to actually spray it on next time. Just give it a light covering. Um, it's actually from where I've done the ballast yesterday. And it's gone into the ballast. The ballast looks really good. There's still areas on it that need sorting. Um, but this wasn't dry. I left it overnight and it didn't dry. And that was because it was too cold outside. So what I've done. I come down here after going shopping. And stuck the fan on the layout. And there's the fan down there. Oh faithful. Never had that for the last eight years. And what I've done. Stuck it on the layout. 
an entire hour of it just blowing into this area dry, dry as a bone. So I was really pleased with how that worked out. I think I may have used too much water in the glue, but it's sorted now, it's not a problem. The bushes have stuck really well. There's a cobweb flying around in my face. The trees were only put down about half an hour ago. So they they should be drying. Um I gotta take some pictures of them. Let me know what you think on that. Ballast. I have not talked about ballast for so long. The track's been ballasted for a good two months. And there's places it still needs to be stuck down properly, like down this way. Um won't mess with that now, but yeah, that needs sorting. A lot of it is stuck down uh, really hard. I will get the uva down here and suck, go right across the entire layout and then I'll know because I have to buy some ballast anyway, so that'd be good. The core stage is still going now. It was moved just to work on the ballasting. So, yeah, the layout is going really well. Um, I'm making great progress. It's nice to get this area done because this is going to be one of the main areas for photos. One of the reasons I removed the shed at the moment, the local shed, is because I do not want to hide any of this. I think it's a really nice scene for the trains to actually come on. So my folks going now, I think I got a cold going to be quite honest. But I'm really pleased with the layout. Taking time, but that's what it's all about. And the next couple of updates, we should see more greenery. Like, I've also done this area here. I do want to sort this out this week across here. i got to paint the walls first. I'll get and do that. And, yeah, we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video update. I will get the pictures done now and post them on Facebook. So, thanks for watching. And, yeah, bye until next time.